probably have the worst luck in the world. So I'm at the gym and I like to do two a days, probably maybe like two or three times out of the week where I do strength training and then I'll do some type of cardio like a class, maybe body combat, maybe a boot camp or maybe body pump. And right after I got finished doing my strength training, it was arm day by the way, I wanted to go do a martial arts class. And you know in martial arts, you know, you're doing a lot of punching and then you're kind of kicking. So as soon as I lift my leg up to kick, I notice like a big period stain on my gym pants and instantly grabbed my shit and ran up out of that class because I wasn't about to continue on and free bleed because I just don't do that. That's just not my thing. So I thought today would be a great day to do a what I eat in a day video because I am looking for variety I need options guys. I need options on what I eat so that I don't get burnt out of the things that I actually enjoy eating so that I can stay within my clean eating regimen. As I said in the last video, my food usually doesn't look pretty. So guys, be easy on me because I'm also not a cook and I'm just doing the best I can. So anyways, let's go shopping. apologize if you guys hear my dog barking and howling and whatever he's doing um i have to separate him and another dog because she's in heat and we're not trying to breed with him so with that being said let's get cooking first i'm going to preheat my oven to maybe about 350 degrees and let that preheat while i get all of my other ingredients in a bowl and mix it all together in preparation for putting in the oven <laughs> of my content is going to surround food mainly because um, if you think about that 80 20 rule um, when you're trying to get your body into shape and you're on a health and fitness journey you know abs are built in the kitchen that's what I've been told so I feel like it's appropriate to show you guys more on the food side of my journey on what I've been eating um, along with the results that I get um, whilst eating those foods. I'm not a calorie counter. I hate, absolutely hate having to count calories and having to track how much food that I'm actually eating as opposed to just cooking it and then enjoying it. So that is one of the main reasons for me trying to eat probably about 80% clean because if you eat cleaner, then in my opinion, I just don't feel like you have to track it as much and just eat intuitively. So while my frittata is in the oven baking, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my lunch, which is the stuffed spaghetti squash.
ricotta in a minute and I usually don't make it in like muffin in a muffin pan so when I made it I actually put a little too much in like each cup so it kind of overflowed and it looks more like a a souffle than like a frittata cup so this is what it looks like it overflowed a little bit because I put too much in the cups but it smells incredible remind me of like the egg cups from um starbucks you know the what do they call it i don't even know what it's called but that's what this reminds me of mm. seriously there's so much flavor in this sun-dried tomato that just makes these egg cups so much more better this is really a great substitute for breakfast i get so sick and tired of people doing like the overnight oats and like the the oatmeal with apples apple cinnamon it's just i we need options we need variety so i hope that you guys try this because it's really a good option especially oh the shrimp is done hold on one second but yeah like i was saying it's really a great option especially if you don't feel like cooking and you want some actual food, not like packaged food or whatever. Um, great option because you can make as many as you want or as much as you want and then you just put it in the refrigerator and then when you're ready to eat, you just get you a slice or get you a cup and then put it in the microwave and heat it up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So minimal effort and very convenient. <laughs> so freaking hard and it just makes it even harder to tell if I'm actually hungry like I'm looking at this food and it looks great it smells great 
Um, it's probably been maybe about, uh, maybe about an hour since I ate my frittatas and I genuinely just don't feel hungry whatsoever. I've been trying to drink a gallon of water a day and that in itself is a whole other video explaining how hard that is as well. So I'm feeling pretty full, but I'm trying to make sure that I'm eating. Um, yeah, but my food, it looks delicious. This time I added sun-dried tomatoes. I don't know if you guys saw my story, if you guys follow me on Instagram. I posted on my story the very first time I made this dish. And before it was just like spinach, onions, and cheese. There wasn't um, any other elements to it. But this time when I made it, I put sun-dried tomatoes in it. And then I also put some shrimp in it. So I'm excited to taste it. I'm excited to try it. But at the same time, I'm also not hungry whatsoever. So I don't even feel like eating it. But I'm going to do my best and eat as much as I can so that it's not wasted because... I gotta eat. So you can see the spaghetti in the squash. It comes off the sides of the spaghetti squash. You just kind of peel it up. So I'm just gonna mix it all together first before, sorry guys, I'm doing this with one hand. So I'm trying to make sure I'm still in focus. But you just pull it off of the side and then we're just gonna mix it in with everything else. Am I a chef now? Oh my gosh. This is amazing y'all, and I'm not just saying that. I helped dig myself. Wrong. this food tastes amazing but because I'm forcing myself to eat I genuinely feel like I'm gonna throw up so I'm kind of just taking my time eating this because I don't want to throw up and I don't want to waste this good ass food so I'm gonna eat the rest off camera and I'll see you guys at dinner time okay guys it is dinner time and I'm about to make me some sweet chili salmon um, I got my Atlantic salmon right here. You guys will see how easy this meal is to make and how quick it is to make and how delicious it looks. You can eat it with either salmon or shrimp. I'm gonna eat mine with salmon today because the shrimp that I had went bad. So let's get cooking.
video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you guys will try some of these meals that I've shown you. Um, these are some of my favorite go-to meals and I try not to um, eat them all the time because I don't want to get tired of it, but these are really great options. A lot of the meals that I've cooked for you guys have like some of the same ingredients and which makes it even easier when trying to meal prep or just trying to get yourself some food pretty quickly without having to spend tons of time in the kitchen. Um, I love salmon and shrimp. I am trying to be on the way to being like a pescatarian, but I mean, I still like chicken and I still like beef, so I can't be full pescatarian because I still enjoy those things. But anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please make sure to like this video. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel because it helps my channel grow, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.